Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, and I did not think this was real at first, but it turns out that other people are reporting on it, and I'm going to give my thoughts on this. I also was hesitant because it is entertainment news, but it also has political underpinnings. Extremely political underpinnings, I should say. Hollywood film depicts Trump supporters being hunted for sport by liberals. And this movie is set to come out in September. Kathy Griffin claims she can work or she can't get work following her photo shoot with the decapitated and bloody Trump head. But don't let that fool you. Hollywood clearly still likes the idea of promoting Trump or promoting violence against people who aren't good and obedient leftists because Universal Pictures is set to release a thriller called The Hunt on September 27th, which features left-wing elites hunting Trump supporters for sport. In the past few days, we've been hearing a lot about Donald Trump's rhetoric and his apparent to blame for the El Paso shooting, yet Hollywood apparently lacks the foresight to think that a movie promoting violence against deplorables might be in bad taste af until after the shooting in El Paso and Dayton. As only now is Universal rethinking their promotional strategy for the film. These are quotes that I'm about to read. Did anyone see that rat effer in chief just did? One character asks early in the screenplay for The Hunt, a Universal Picture thriller set up to open... September 27th, another response, at least the hunt's coming up. Nothing better than going out to the manor and slaughtering a dozen deplorables. These are quotes, or those were quotes from the screenplay. In the aftermath of mass shootings within two days of one another that shocked and traumatized the nation, Universal is reevaluating its strategy for the certain-to-be controversial satire. The violent R-rated film from producer Jason Bloom's Bloomhouse follows a dozen MAGA types who wake up in a clearing and realize they are being stalked for sport by elite liberals. Over the August 3rd weekend, ESPN pulled an ad from the, for the film and it had previously cleared. While well, AMC ran the spot during the season premiere of its drama The Preacher, it's unclear whether the ads were identical, but the one yanked by ESPN opened with sound resembling an emergency broadcast symbol. A rep for ESPN said Disney declined to comment on the movie, but an ESPN source says no spots for the film will appear on the network in the coming weeks. According to THR, the movie, quote, Features gun blazing or guns blazing along with other ultra violent killings as the elitists pick off or as the elites pick off their prey. And I'm actually going to watch this trailer right now and I'm going to put you on pause and give my thoughts about this trailer. So I'll catch you in one second. Okay, just finished watching it. I am not impressed. Um, I will be honest that the trailer does not indicate that they are, or that liberals are killing Trump supporters. But the original, or I'm going to continue reading from the video, or from the article. The original title for the film was Red State vs. Blue State, so the political themes of the movie are clearly important to the plot. THR says that the hunt remained or made some executives at Universal skittish back in 2018 when the film chief Donna Langley acquired the script and a fast tracked it at a modest $18 million budget, but several studios did not pursue it because of its or one of the explosive premise or because of the explosive premise. The idea seemed crazy. The movie was produced by Jason Bloom, who also produced their other well-known flicks like The Purge, 
paranormal activity, and get out. The script for the hunt features red state characters wearing trucker hats and cowboy shirts with one bragging about owning seven guns because it is his constitutional right. Blue state characters, some equally adept with firearms, explain that they picked their targets because they were or they expressed any choice positions or use the n-word on twitter war is war says one character after shoving a stiletto heel through the eye of a denim clad hillbilly how exactly did anyone think this was a good idea after or even before the El Paso and Dayton shootings in June 2017 a Bernie Sanders supporter and left-wing activists shot Republican members of Congress who were practicing for an annual congressional baseball game for charity. Yeah, they're just reporting on other stuff. But this is very disturbing news. It shows the insanity of Hollywood. The fact that they're actually willing to promote this kind of movie. The screenplay makes it abundantly clear that it is a movie about liberals killing Trump supporters, or conservatives, or whatever you want to call them, and I just watched a trailer, which means this is a finished product, if it's due to come out in September, this is a finished product, it's due to come out in a little over a month from now, the 27th of September, I gotta tell you, I swear to God, if my own theater supports this, I will actually boycott my theater. I will, I'm actually going to my theater later on, to, in a little bit from the time of this video, to make sure that they do not run this movie. Anyway, the fact that this is happening is very disturbing. I think that they need to really rethink what they're doing nowadays in the movie business. This is not a joke, people. I wish I was joking. I wish this was a false movie. I wish this was a false report, or fake news, or whatever you want to call it. But this is real. I just watched the trailer. Look up the trailer for The Hunt on YouTube. You'll find it. It's disgusting. So yeah, that's the video. You guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. This has been Orange Hat Reviews, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Yikes.